So he had told me something. This made me fucking laugh very much. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. To hear you know this. why he's mad at you, Shelby? Having a clue. He's furious with you. He's furious with Chris. Fez, go ahead and explain your aggravation. I believe it was Thursday that, um, well, let me just set it up this way. Whenever I decide after the show to go get something to eat, uh-huh. I always, anytime I'm going to get a sandwich, I go to Chris and I go to Shelby and I say, I'm going downstairs to get something to eat. Would you like to come along? Do you want to get something to eat? Would you like me to get you a sandwich? It's nice of you. Isn't that nice? Now, last Thursday, I walk into the office. It's probably about an hour or hour and a half after the show. And I see Shelby eating one of those langos from the truck downstairs. Well, we mentioned it like eight times. I'd be stupid Langos, not to get it. <laughs> Langos did come up on the air. Yeah. And what is this, Hungarian? It's a Hungarian street food. It's very delicious. It's fried bread with sour cream and um, cheese and shredded cheese on top. You get caviar on it. It's top notch. Yeah, they do have caviar. All right, so Shelby was eating a Langos. Yeah, so I think to myself, well, Shelby never mentioned to any of us that he was going down to get a Langos. He just went down and grabbed one. And as I'm leaving the office thinking this, I bump into Chris Stanley, (laughs) who's walking into the office with a tinfoil-covered Langos. (laughs) Is it a Lango or a Langos? Langos. Langos. That's what it says on the truck, I think. Okay. It's quite All good. Right. <laughs> Unless it's plural, and I'm saying pa- he walked in with eight pancakes. So why did you not go down and get yourself uh, a Langos? I didn't want a Langos, but I think it's All the right, principle. It? All okay. right, by the way, if the truck said, uh, you know, for sale hot dogs, right? Uh-huh. Would you then start to call hot dog hot dogs? <laughs> it sounds like Langos is a plural to me. Lang- it's Langos. It's, they call it Langos. A single one is a Langos. Yeah, Langos, yeah. Right here. It's delicious. Do you eat a slice of pizzas? No, I do not. All right. You're... So I guess we had a couple of Lango S's in the office. So your beef with them is they didn't buy you one. They didn't buy me one. I don't need them to buy me one. But neither one of them, after all the times I've said, come on down, I'm getting something to eat, bothered to come, come to me. Come on down. <laughs> now, Chris. Yeah. Neither one bothered to come to me and say, hey, I'm going down for a Langos. Would you like to come along? You know he's already in a bad place because he tried to buy a shitty goddamn eBay. Yeah. That was uh, the backup prize. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, guys, uh, we could give me away. Pele just signed my forehead with this Sharpie. (laughs) Why didn't you... That's your ugly eyebrows. Shelby, any reason that you didn't invite Fez? Well, honestly, I I didn't even know it was going to be as big as it was. I thought it was like a little donut type deal. I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but then it was like as big as a pizza, practically. That's not what I asked. Even if you were going out for a Tic Tac, if Fez always (laughs) asked you out to go out for lunch, how come you didn't invite him? I guess he, we were all in different places. I honestly thought Chris was going down to smoke and get a lango. So I thought we were all Run! going down there. <laughs> I was! I was! He's right! Ron, are you yelling my name? I'm getting your attention. Okay, well, I'm right here. If Even if they're not in the office and I'm going downstairs <laughs> to get a bite, I send Texas. Texas? I'd send Oklahoma. <laughs> they're making fun of you like you're a dope. Now, are you sincerely upset about that? I am sincerely pissed about it. I couldn't... Shelby, I was like, all right, that seems odd that he wouldn't ask anyone else. And then when Chris did it, <laughs> that was just double the langos, and Chris, I was really upset. Are you hurt or mad? I'm I'm hurt. Now I'm mad because they find it so funny. <laughs> but you were hurt before. I was re- I'm, re- I'm still really hurt. Very hurt. I think since they were brought up so much during the show and we never like got one, I thought no one was interested. No, I could understand that cuz I kept thinking they were going to show up too. But unless I literally call someone over like a waiter, you know what I mean? Our our producing team just goes like this. I don't wait till Ron thinks of it. Uh now did you notice, though, that Chris didn't each ask Shelby and Shelby didn't ask Chris? You know what I mean? It's not like the two of them said to each other, let's start a Langos club without Fez. No, they're both independently impolite. But why are they? They're not mad at each other. 
when I walked into that fucking room. <laughs> because the they office. both had but, a langos. <laughs> hold on for a second, Fez. Let's do timing. When I walked into that goddamn office and he was eating the langos, I couldn't stop fucking laughing. <laughs> 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 So see, they admit it. Do you realize how easy it is for you two assholes to be hypnotized? You hear something, and the second the show's over, you're riding an elevator down to buy fried dough out of a truck? Well, it makes sense. I've had it before. I know what it is. I like it. There, was, there was cheese. I mean, gotta, gotta include okay. that. All right. Anyway, it's Ron Afesha, Blow a Dog. And uh, coming up, Blow a Dog. Later on on the show today, Blow a Dog. Are there any dogs around here? Oh, God, it's that easy. God, I want something in my mouth right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Charlie, Charlie, you're on the Ron Afesh show. Ronnie B., I'm so fucking proud of Bubba Hicks and fucking Shelby for sticking at the fence. I'm a ship manager. And on a 12 hour shift, we only get a half hour for fucking lunch. So they play a fucking game where, hey, hey, how come you didn't get me anything? How come you didn't get me anything? To try to fucking say that they're staying late at fucking lunch. So the fact that they knew Fez asked them all the time, they still fucking went out. Fuck the boss! All right, that's a good point. Someone wrote this in, text this to us. Uh, sometimes Fez's story makes me sad, and then I remember he's a grown-ass man, and I get even sadder. This one made me very sad. Why don't you mm. like Langos? It's fried bread. Yeah, here's the thing. Should you be eating fried bread with two cheeses? I wouldn't have eaten the langos. It's the, then why are you mad? It's the point behind it. It's you the principle behind yeah, it. I was looking out for you. If they were, <laughs> if, yeah, if they were going out for salads or fruit cups, I'd be like, guys, you got to remember Fez. Yeah, but no, we're going for fucking fried things dipped in sour cream and cheese. Yeah, you shouldn't be eating that, Fez. No. no, and I wasn't going to eat it. I would have. Then why are you mad? Because I wasn't even asked after all the times you... that I thought we were some sort of team here, and apparently not. Do you know? Team? Do you know that this is something like the kind of shit that somebody's old spinster aunt gets mad about? I didn't want it. I just want to be asked. Now that we get to the point that you shouldn't eat a Langos, I'm looking at these two guys like heroes. Thank you. I'm sure they've gone for heroes without me. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Cherry in Virginia. Oh, uh, yeah, Ron. Uh, how mad Fez is now after four days? He must have been fit to be tied the day it happened. And no wonder he has 12 cents on his heart. God, he worries about something that doesn't have, there's no need to just forget about it, move on. It is a dumb thing for you to get upset about, Fez. I only have ten stents in my heart. It is a dumb thing for you to get upset about. I don't think so. I think it's a real slap in my face. I do sort of contribute to more stents when I grab my Diet Pepsi every day when it does have some food. <laughs> Why am I grabbing him a water? <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> All right, no more Diet Pepsis for him. Okay. Good call. Check. You're all water from this point on, Langos. Um, Scott, Jersey, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hi, boys. Hey, yeah. I am the biggest Fez critic. I 99% of the time am not on his team. I got to say, if he's this considerate to these guys, he's right on this one. I don't know That's why they bullshit. just didn't eat downstairs in the nice sunlight. Why would you take it... In front of him. <laughs> because I didn't want to pay for a drink at the fucking cart. I wanted to get one for free up here. Okay. <laughs> it was a chance to get uh, sour cream and cheese all over the keyboards in the office. <laughs> uh, Joe and Phil, you're on the Run Fez show. Hey, I got news for Fez. It'll make him happy. I got a line goes for sale, and it's signed by Paley. <laughs> nice. Get his number. <laughs> signed in sour cream or like marker? That thing wouldn't last a half a fucking hour around here. <laughs> I don't care who signed it. Uh, Daniel in Mississippi. Hey, boys. I just wanted to thank Fez for once again taking the funny out of the show and making it about himself. It still seemed kind of funny to oh. me that his fucking I uh, hear a lot of laughs in here, Daniel. <laughs> so you're going for comedy right now, Fez? No. Then what are you saying? 
I hear well, people laughing at me in here. <laughs> so laughing at you Nice is... big fake fat laugh, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> laughing not at fake. you... It's not fake. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at you is what you're going for. No, I'm going for... No, here's what I'm going for because I'm making this announcement. No, no. These two, Shelby and Chris Stanley, will never get another lunch out of me. First of all, you owe 27 dinners. <laughs> yeah. So this, uh, this only applies to lunch, right? <laughs> You, I will never, I will go eat by myself, oh, I will eat in front of you, you will never get another free lunch out of me, ever again. And they do say there's no free lunches in nature, so this, this really proves it. I don't think they give a fuck. <laughs> oh, they will give a fuck. Yes, they will. Even the even Shelby, who takes, a, you know, uh, days to digest a lunch, will be hungry. What are you doing worried about his digestion? I've seen him eat lunch two days in a row. <laughs> so it must have just been stacking up inside that tummy is. Thanks for calling it a tummy. <laughs> this is a very uncomfortable <laughs> thing. But you realize that you fucking three guys are strange. Oh, I'm fucking crazy. I mean, crazy. this is like some weird uh, polygamous fucking <laughs> problem. <laughs> and really, I think... Elementary school is the last time that anyone should do the you went without me. It's not like they said, I'm taking you out to lunch. And they didn't even go out to lunch. They went out to a truck. Yeah. And ate a food that you cannot or should not eat. They went downstairs to get something to eat, something I've always asked them if they wanted to do. What are you talking about? They went out to a truck. Grabbed a shitty deep fried goddamn sorry excuse for a Hungarian pizza. It's good. And though. you can't eat it. You would have said nothing but oh no, I can't eat that, right? Right, yes. Then why are you mad? Because it's the principle behind it. There is um, no principle. I just gave you the principle. You can't eat this kind of food. It's like I don't get mad at Chris when I find out he goes out to do shots. I go, why didn't you tell me? Did you want to have some? No! What? I what? don't. Why are you so pissed? Furious right now. <laughs> You're enjoying life. And I can't. Well, wouldn't that be crazy if I got mad? Chris, why do you go fucking smoke a joint without telling me? Why are you eating pills without telling me? I could have gone downstairs with them, gotten something else, and we could have eaten together. Why do you want to eat together? What are you, a fucking girl? Who wants to eat with someone? I've seen you eat. You never take your face off the fucking plate. And I never see you guys talking to each other. I come in here for a meeting sometimes, and the three of you just sit quietly. It's like the fucking usual suspects. You don't give up nothing. I think you're just looking for a reason to be fucking angry with these bums. Kevin, you're on the run of Fez show. Fuck it. Hey, uh, Fez, man, Chris has been the most inconsiderate fuck from the time he came on the show, man, and you're fucking pissed off because it is true. I should have realized it, I guess. Uh, there, yeah. I would, I would never even put my wallet on the table around these people. <laughs> you know, I got my head on a fucking swivel with them, as you should. <laughs> fucking a, Fez, you gotta lighten up, bro. You go get your own falafel, all right? It's Lango, it's not falafel. It's totally different. All right, well, from now on. You're okay with that, Chris? The lunch days are over. <laughs> I'm fine. If only these guys knew that their truck caused so much controversy. They'd want to know. Do you get mad at me for leaving here and going to lunch? No. I never tell you. Oh, I'm going off to lunch. Never once. You know why? You might say yes. Well, I don't have to worry about yeses around here anymore. Doesn't make sense. I'll save a ton of money, too. If it was like a restaurant, I guess I'd get your point, but this was like me going to a vending machine in my mind, except bigger and more stoves. You should have ate outside in the fucking sunshine. He never would have known. Yeah. Like a man stood, stood over a fucking trash can and ate your lango as fast as possible. But Granny got her fucking feelings hurt. And now I'm never going to get another lunch again. You laugh now because you're not hungry. 
Does he ever say, Fez, take me to lunch? Yes. I've gotten texts from him. Well, I don't know where he's at in the building, but I get, hey, Fez, you want to eat something? Then why are you mad at him? Because he wants me to go get him something to eat. So if he said to you, Fez, you want to go down and get some Langos, you would have thought he's just asking me to pay for them. I would have wow. been, You'd have been pissed either way. Nothing makes you happy. <sighs> this hurts. Right now, Fez, you've become North Korea. And I don't know how you're doing it. I know, because I'm in the right. North Korea's in the right? <sighs> no, that's how I don't understand how I'm North Korea. They have slave camps. Uh, Dave, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey. Uh, Fez is right this time. Uh, it's not. It's not just having to eat all the time. It's it's the offer. Not you know. Let, let some of the other guys make the trip once in a while, and uh, I know that, that's the way it happens for me here where I work. You're the Fez of your work. I am. <laughs> I feel. I feel bad not offering, especially if I'm going to go get some to eat. See, that's the thing. This goes to show. People never do anything to be nice. They expect back, you know? Yep. So all this time, it's like the people, what he's really saying is, now remember, you owe me yeah. every time he buys you a sandwich. I didn't know this. there was this kind of system going on. Right, it I, is. I thought it was I thought it kindness. was a mutual system Just like, of looking out for each other at lunchtime. <laughs> Why? You don't think people Why? have to look out for each other at lunchtime. What what does that even mean? You guys aren't in the jungle. <laughs> We're there's in the fucking, shit right now. There's 8,000 places to eat. By the way, they went out and ate out of a truck, which normally, you know, a mother would smack out of a child's <laughs> hands. You just ate something out of a truck. And you can't eat the food. You cannot eat that thing. It's the worst thing. You just got out of the hospital. Nothing healthy about it at all. No. There's no nutritional value to it. It's really well, not food. It has sour cream on it, right? It's <laughs> deep fried bread with two different types of cheeses. The guy asked me, are you sure you even want this? <laughs> I don't know, kid. Yeah. I yes. don't know, pal. Now, if they went out for mangoes, yeah, they should take you. We're going on a fruit run. Fruit run. <laughs> fruit run. That'll fruit never happen. run. Uh, Bill, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Ron. Yeah. Uh, hey, Fez, how come you never asked me out to go eat lunch? Too long of a commute, Bill. But you never asked me. You never say, Ron, would you like to get some lunch after the show today? I've never once been asked. Let's see how hurt I am. Uh, zero. <laughs> Nada. Nada. He took Howard out to lunch the other day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when those guys uh, langos to me, I said, fine. Howard, would you like to go to lunch? And me and Howard, uh, the intern, went and had a sandwich. And you've never taken Howard out before? I've taken you, Howard out before. But do you see how that looks? Like, I'm going to use Howard yes. to hurt these guys. Oh, yeah. I want Howard, the intern, to know he is not included in the no more lunches. Things looking up for Howard. One day I had to eat a slice of pizza with Vito, <laughs> and I would never have been more annoyed in my life. Why well, he's going like this. How are you getting ahead in radio? Is timing important? Yeah, it is. Howard just seems like some pawn in the sick game. He is. <laughs> he's the fucking fat girl. Okay, I'll drive you around in my fucking Chevy now. He's being used. And abused. Uh, Johnny, you're on the Run and Fez show. Ron, you, you kind of stole my thunder a minute ago there, but I had this conversation with my son. My son's eight years old, and he came home, and he's he's upset that he gives, like, girls or other kids at school, like, I don't know, a pack of marbles or something, and they should give me something back. And I try to instill in him that that's nonsense. You well, know, be prepared to, to just do something nice for somebody. And I don't think that your kid it. should be handing out a pack of Marlboros. I think, <laughs> you know what? I mean, as cool as it looks, it's still bad for kids. Is your son Asian? So that's the whole thing with Fez. He never really need, And even now, you're using what you act like is kindness as a threat. I will take away the kindness from you. You know who does that? Mean old grandmas. 
At least this has finally been exposed, as it was never actually... Kindness isn't appreciated in that office. It never was kindness. Ever. It was making them dependent and to owe you something. Yeah. I know. I'm some sort of lunch indentured servant over here. What kind of web have I been caught in this whole time? By the way, there's a lot of great restaurants around here. You never take them to that. Why don't you take them downstairs and get them a fucking steak? Oh, that'd be nice. I'm not taking them to get a fucking goddamn sandwich. Or a burrito. Um, I just don't get the fucking thing of, you know you can't eat that food to begin with. All you wanted to do was a chance to turn it down. It's like when people get mad that they hold open a door and someone doesn't say thank you. So all they really wanted was a thank you. Yeah. That's fucking petty. <laughs> That's fucking Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers right there. That's the kind of shit he pulls. People just say, like, you're welcome. You like that, that, that like, fucking part? Then fucking don't hold the door open. I'm not in a wheelchair. I can fucking push the door open anytime I want. I don't want you holding the fucking door for me. How dare loser. you? How dare you say thank you to me? You know what? Not only will I, 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 I am not saying thank you, I'm going to fucking take your eye out with my thumb. How's that? Now it's a fucking bad day all the way around. Oh, God. It takes forever to get to a fucking thing. and It doesn't even make sense. Well, here's somebody I know that'll... Please take the petty down. Here's somebody I know that'll fucking get to the bottom of this and help us all. It's our old pal, Mikey D. Hey, Ron. Hey, guys. Fezzy, you would crucify me if it was me saying this stuff. Uh, True. First of all, don't call me Fezzy. Uh, only friends do that. Okay, yeah. We're back to that again. Okay. Okay, Mr. Fez. You would crucify me if it was me. And this kind of sounds like how I used to be, where I would say, how come you didn't ask me for this? You know, it's almost like, again, it's like a self, uh, like, uh, you know, an entitlement thing. He's entitled. I'm not entitled. Mikey Mikey D has you completely, Fez. No, he doesn't. He didn't have me figured out when I faked being friends with him to get free rides. (laughs) That's, you're just making that fucking thing up. Oh, (laughs) you wish. I know, man. I know. You just want to believe that. So you can go ahead and believe that, but you're, you're going past the point here. And the point is... We used to have your wife on there and leave you downstairs. Okay, that was one time. And I wasn't really even part of the show. <laughs> and in all honesty, we were trying to bang his wife at the time. Yeah, so. you know what? I, I pretty much got that uh, in my head, too. But You're welcome. Uh, you know, thank you so much. But that's before I got to know you. Oh. Right, I know. Yeah. But the thing is this, man. You can't be like that, Fez. If they didn't ask you, they didn't ask. They didn't ask. They, they were didn't... being the rude ones. Fez, they don't ask me. I'm not upset. I don't want to eat their fucking truck food. Ronnie, you want to come down in the truck with me later? I've seen you eat out of a fucking trash can. I'm like, no, eat it all. Help yourself. <laughs> Most of it didn't hit the bottom. And then the Bonus. Is, let's say Chris picked one up for you, Fez. Then you would have said, what, are you trying to kill me? Yeah. Can't win around here. Nothing. There's a, this is a no-win situation. I never said I wanted a Langos. I said I thought it would have been appropriate if they had told me they were going down to get something to eat. Now, do you think that this kind of anger is appropriate? Where does Where is this... In your book of etiquette, is there any book of etiquette that says when you've been snubbed, scream and Attack. threaten people? You don't get invited to a wedding, scream at them, then you're never coming in my pool again. It's, it doesn't fit anywhere. And I love it when people try to use etiquette as the fucking gimmick because what there there's no... There's no social skills that say start and scream and call people names. And another thing is, how about if Chris and Shelby go to the bathroom? Do they have to ask you, hey, Fez, do you want to go to the bathroom? He's got, he fucking has you, Fez. You're the only one I know that eats in the shitter, so no, huh? they don't have to tell me they're going to the bathroom. What's that mean? He's a shit mouth. He's a shit talker. Oh. I was drinking. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> That didn't even make fucking sense. I was fucking hysterical. (laughs) 
Oh, all right, man. All right. Sorry, Mikey. You stayed even keeled with Mikey, though. <coughs> uh, Josh, you're on the Run of Fez show. Uh, sorry, it's not Josh. It's, uh, it's your buddy, John Nash, Fez. Question, would you have gotten mad at Ron if he would have eaten a Langos? Plural. That wasn't John Nash. And it's Jason Nash. John Nash is the guy who sells stuff. But yeah, would you get mad at me if I came up here with a Langos? No, because we don't have that thing where I say to you, well, let's hey, I'm get, going to get something to eat. You don't say that I'm going to get something to eat. Let's get it started, dude. We don't have that thing. <laughs> well, let me have the timing here, too. Let's get it started. Order something now, and we'll eat in front of these guys. You know, and make out our thing. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. What would you like? I want you to surprise me with something fucking fantastic. And of course, Howard can eat with us too. Can I get like a side at least? To yeah, get him. Oh, fries. look who's already asking to get back in. Yeah, get him fries. Oh, oh no! Nice. No, come on, now, just just fries. No. Oh, now you want back in? Now you need Fez. I mean, if we're ordering lunch here, we're not. Me and Ron are. And Howard. And Howard, yes. And Molly's. Oh yeah, here. and Molly. Uh, send the kids in. Can I get like a dessert, maybe. Yeah, get, you're gonna have a oh, piece of cheesecake. Yeah, run down oh, and get a langos. Great. I love cheesecake. Maybe a tiramisu, depending on where you're ordering from, you know? Now, you want to do this for after the show today? Yeah. Three? Yeah, for the meeting. What would you guys like to eat? Mm. Eat a mine for burgers. Uh, I, do a I burger. could do burgers. I could okay. Do burgers. Maybe okay uh, I could go for like a grilled cheese. A grilled cheese. Five Guys has grilled cheese and hamburgers. Five guys, we thinking? Yeah, I think that's what All right, so that make sure good. make sure we talk around uh, 2, 2.30. I'll send you out to get some nice burgers. Mm -hmm. Just for the four of us. Okay. Got it. And Chris, do you but want you anything? Want fries, yeah, can I get a double, no. double bacon okay, cheeseburger? No fries. Got nope. a double Go bacon, bacon cheeseburger. Something. Chris gets nothing, Shelby gets nothing. They just get to smell the fries in here. <laughs> right, you know what? Get me three cheeseburgers and I'll three I'll give them each one. Thanks, Rod. And so the, the side of fries is a yes? Yeah. No. We got to do fries. You want to do the hot fries, though? Because they have hot fries, too. No, Never been a fan. I end up getting hot. I get hot. I get hot. I mean, you're, you know what? You're at the age where you can sit and enjoy your right. spicy right. hot food. I can't do it. All Fair right? Enough. I mean, you're a veteran. All right? I want you to have whatever you want. <laughs> all right. Good. Excellent. Um, here's cigars and scotch. I, I'm kind of shocked here, guys. I mean, for everything Fez does for Chris and Shelby, they sneak out together for some food, leaving Fez locked in the serious tower like he was the lunch pack of Notre Dame. The lunch pack <laughs> of Notre Dame. <laughs> that was just mean cigars and scotch. <laughs> Worth like. <laughs> Peace. Talk to you later. Uh, Slipper, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey. Hello? Yeah, you're on the air, bud. <laughs> okay. Hey, sorry, man. Uh, yeah, you know, the, the difference between gays and straights is, you know, we, like, you made that uh, wedding invitation reference. Straight, straight guys, you know what? Don't invite me to your wedding, please. Right? That's like the best day of your life is when you don't get invited to the wedding. <laughs> uh, Nathan, you're on the Run of Fez show. Nathan. You know what you guys were talking about earlier? I had just read an article where uh, someone quoted that Albert Einstein said, if we don't do anything except for fear of retribution or for a reward, then we're a sorry lot in need. Yeah. And, uh, well, I tried to point that out to Fez. What did Einstein know? <laughs> Everything. Yeah. But, well, yeah, and this is the guy that invented the atom bomb, so, you know. Not all of it. It was more, more of an Oppenheimer, but, you know. We didn't ever get the reviews of the sandwich that you guys ate, though. How was it? It was good. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. First of all, let, let me just say this. Chris Stanley, whether you're getting him something out of a truck or a five-star, <laughs> three Michelin stars, whatever... <laughs> It's fast and says it was good. He doesn't say it's delicious, <laughs> and he doesn't say that it's nothing. awful. It's just food that passes through his mouth, <laughs> down his possible, gullet. Like a human yeah, garbage disposal. incredibly fast. <laughs> yeah. I fucking house it. I have no problem with it. What else is bad for you? 
Um, you said carbohydrates are bad for you? Carbohydrates, french fries. Didn't you have fries yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, I had it all yesterday. You had burgers and fries. <laughs> that may have been why I went home so sick. And then, yeah. Yeah, it probably was probably it. Because I was dying on the couch and I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with this medicine. So do you now feel like Chris and Shelby have won? Now, the reason they didn't go out to get, tell him because they got those, uh, what are they called? Langos. Which is fried bread and two cheeses, which you can't eat. No, I can't eat, but they could have at least said, hey, I'm going downstairs to get something to eat. Would you like to come along? Oh, they didn't I, I, even offer the thing. No, they're right. not going to no. offer because they were worried about his health. And then you wanted to get him back. Yeah, but that's, that's what I'm saying. But that's what I wonder. Is, it, is the getting them back? Like, I've done things like that in my life where you it's like, well, this will show them I'm going to do something bad to myself right. now. But it's just something you want to do. You know what I mean? No, I got I, back. I call it Fez eats poison wants the world to die. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes sometimes we'll, be, uh, we'll be like, you know, let's, let's watch what we eat a little bit. And then, like, uh, if you just find any excuse to think, it's like, you know, I don't even care. I don't care about anything. I'm just going to order a cheesesteak right now. <laughs> I don't even care. You think I care? I'll show you. And it's just because I want a cheesesteak really bad. Right. So you're punishing. <laughs> yeah, you'll you're see. Pun- you'll see. <laughs> I got him back just in the respect that they didn't think I would dare do it. How bad did it hurt you to see everybody eat in front of you yesterday? It was killing me. I wanted <laughs> yeah. a cheeseburger. So, you know why? Because Fez never ever takes me and Shelby to fucking five guys. He only There's only two places he ever takes us. So even, Where well, does really? he take you? Uh, he takes us to Chipotle. Or uh, a sandwich spot down the block. Oh, and that's, that's toasties. That's it. That's you guys be- blow. <laughs> can you, you guys give your me- can you give your measurement of how much it hurt in dick tugs? <laughs> was it? Did you hit a hundred? Was it? Was it a, a thousand dick tugs of pain of mental pain? Oh. I can't. I can't. Bl- I thought that. I honestly thought you were going to come in and said <laughs> it can't be done. But now you're saying at a certain point your dick just surrenders. <laughs> it, it really was. I was. It was a battle between me and my penis. Okay. Because I wasn't. I wasn't thinking about anything. <laughs> Counting out loud really wiped your fucking brain out of anything. Did you make noise? <laughs> Did you make noise when you went? <laughs> no, I was like, F- finally. Jesus. Because it was taking fucking forever. I was getting pissed. Finally. <laughs> Did you go Try that with your check next time, too, when you come. <laughs> <laughs> finally. Oh, the cock oh, has come oh, home. Yeah. I'm about to go. I'm about mm. to go. Where do you want it? <laughs> I went. <laughs> I went. Oh, I'm going. Oh, I'm going. <laughs> So there's the Bon Me, which is the truck out front. Oh. And I'm still of the thing that, that nothing, nothing good comes out of a truck. That's my belief. Let's see what Bon Me looks like. That Langos was delicious. Oh, it's delicious. It's fantastic. Oh. Have another one today while yeah. we're having steak sandwiches. Oh, got one of those at Chelsea Market. Yeah. <sighs> Loved it. Got a meatball. They make like... A pulled pork and meatball. Doesn't he like those? What the sandwiches? Are supposed yeah, there's to no be. steak. He keeps calling it steak. It's <laughs> always pork. Oof. I don't know what he's talking about <laughs> so when he good. says Vietnam steak sandwich. <laughs> Asians don't have cows down there. <laughs> <laughs> they got pigs. Excuse me. <laughs> One. Can I get two Vietnam steak sandwich? And what kind of boilings do you have? <laughs> Honestly, if it's Vietnamese, it's probably not steak or pork. No, Let's just be honest. Probably something they shot fucking <laughs> yeah. down in the subway. Rat meat. <laughs> Whatever. It's delicious. <laughs> it comes with a really nice sauce. It's delicious. Hey, you fricassee it thrown on bread, I'll eat it. Well, this is a, see, this is like a little freak thing because you can see by looking at the sandwiches that the French were in Vietnam for yeah. a long time. So that they use this really great French bread. Yeah, baguette. And there's a nice sauce on it. And uh, are you getting any for Shelby and Chris? No. This is, our, this is our week of having lunch together and them not getting a thing. That's good. <laughs> it's, not, it's terrible. Someone wrote in and says it's more dangerous than the cheeseburger. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine. No, There's I mean, no cheese on this. Well, there's bread and, uh, and like, you know, fatty pork. <laughs> We're trying to watch carbs. <laughs> Bez is killing himself out of spite against me. Too. Yes, and then we'll all blame you when he goes to the hospital in a week. <laughs> a mouthful of uh, sandwich. Like, That'll show you Pepper Hicks. Are, are you inviting, It'll uh, be worth it. Are you inviting Big J and Christine in for this? Yes, please, stay. No, I can't stay, so just give me the money. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> all of us eating lunch together, yeah. sort of. And they do in have spirit. boilings over there. But there's no sides to the Vietnamese, right? They don't have... Anything that would be a chip. Mm. Yeah, nothing. Nothing I found Oh, I went down to your auto's ta- uh, tacos, too, that you recommended. Which thing? Very nice. Good, right? Very, very nice. Yeah, the carnitas and yeah. uh, carne asada. Delicious. Oh, I have to do that this week. 
Well, you know what? It's a couple subway stops away. Oh. I don't like f- food traveling like that. <laughs> I don't think your food's going to taste good if it's in a, in a, in a train. Well, no. what do you got? Uh, you got to eat that there. You got to eat it there. You got to eat it there. as you're standing there. That's my feeling too. What do you got planned for the rest of the week? What are you looking at? Um, I'm not. I was thinking of artichoke pizza oh, on Friday. That's a nice call. Yeah, pizza uh, on Fridays. Artichoke. What's your favorite thing to eat, Chris, in the world? Oh, I, I, I just I can't get enough of. You know, steak and lobster. That's my favorite. That's okay. My birthday. You got him. Oh. I'll eat steak and lobster in front of that fucker. Oh, you know, okay. That's so very good. You're, you're yeah. doing artichoke pizza? Yeah. I, uh, if you're down there in the West Village, right? Yeah. Ben's Pizza's grandma slice is pretty sick. And I'm trying to find... There was a place in Queens for pizza that I used to order from. It's called like Steve's, I believe. But uh, I'm trying to find a place in the city that makes upside down pizza. I cannot get that. In the city anywhere. The Queens thing would work because we could just have Chris Stanley bring it in on his way to work. Holy for slices. Us. Yeah, I'm going to fucking rouse that thing. Apparently. So you we, like the. Um, you, li- you like the sauce. On the top. On, on the top. Cheese right under the bread. That's mm-hmm. Greek. That's, That's the way the Greeks eat. Well, they're doing it right. Apparently, there's a place in Chelsea that has upside down pizza. Yeah? Yep. And it got four stars. What's it mm. called? It's called New York Pizza Supremo. It's called uh, Leather Chaps Assless Pizza. It's really <laughs> right good. across the street from my place, they just opened a dollar pizza slice place. Lucky you. And are, <laughs> have you ever gotten? Because we're debating just for pure science and fatness. Do we? Would you buy an eight dollar full pizza from a place like that? <laughs> Will you do I? it? I've done it plenty of times before. It's You've great. got an eight dollar. Yeah, large give, pizza. Yeah, give me a pie, please. Here's it's eight dollars. It's called a Domino's when you're eating like that. No, it's better than Domino's. Is it? Pizza is, it's better than Domino's. It's 100%. the same. It, they're using the same t- taste of like food. It's not real cheese. If they could be arrested if they say, give me a slice of cheese pizza. If you, throw, <laughs> if you throw a good commercial together, though, I can almost forget how much I know it's already awful. The thing is, I'm trying to go, Molly, you're studying business. You understand. Yeah. From a management standpoint, what Fez is doing, not buying food for his producers, <laughs> is this like when the dad tries to punish his children by buying gifts for the stepkids yeah, in well, front not, of them? You're not really supposed to do this type of thing because it inspires like extrinsic motivation as opposed to instrin- intrinsic motivation. Like, you know, using rewards and punishments makes people act for those rewards and punishments as opposed to like by their own volition because they like want to do something. Oh. Then it's working. <laughs> <laughs> why does it feel good to you to do this? But you know why it felt good yesterday? Cause, and I probably wouldn't have given in yesterday. But Shelby and Chris had such a big, fat laugh at the beginning of the show. <laughs> right. Acting like, Still you know up. what? We'll never be hungry again. Ha ha. Yeah. We'll never <laughs> ever want a sandwich again. <laughs> We're full for the rest of our lives. <laughs> this will never bother us. And then it did bother them, and it felt great. But does, th- does this make you feel better that when they were laughing, you have to remember, they were laughing in your face. So <laughs> no. does that make you feel better? No, not at all. <laughs> Does it help that they talk behind your back about some of this stuff? No, that doesn't help. Hmm. Doesn't? <laughs> Weird. You were mad. Wait, let me understand, though. You were mad that they ate without you. Like, without you guys? When no, at- without First of all, I never... I'm gone. <laughs> Why they sit around and they do this shit. Oh. I'm history. <laughs> <laughs> you like, guys want to get like, Ron? Yeah. Ron? Well, you, when you hear me on the show, that's when I'm here. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you Season's know, over. if you turn on this station and you don't hear Ron, Ron's not here. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Let me head down to the office and find there, him. There's there, no point. There's nothing that can happen in that office that can't happen at home. There's nothing. So th- it's ridiculous to hang around here as long as they do. So you're supposed to have lunch together, though. Not, no. not you, they. He d- takes them out sometimes. Then yeah. they wanted to go get this fried cheese, sour, fucking, cream. sour cream, fried dough, cheese on the top of it thing, and a truck. And they didn't invest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's right up front. Uh, they didn't invite Fez to take the elevator ride. And that made him furious, <laughs> even though you admit that you wouldn't have been able to eat it. No, I wouldn't have eaten that. But here's what happens, Big J. Anytime I go downstairs, uh, you know, if we're done with the show for a couple hours and I'm going to get something to eat, I always go to those two crumbs and say, <laughs> Crumbs, he just called. Hey, it's would great. you like, I'm going downstairs, you want to get something to eat? 
I always throw out the invite. I understand. But they I, I, don't I, always accept can I, the invites there. Can I take but, 50 but I didn't even get that. But let me say this. You're the boss. You're not one of the guys... That's the thing that the boss is supposed to do. They have made it perfectly clear they don't want me to be either. Can I take? So Fezzi- they have no respect for you. What? No. Let me take Fezzi's side for one second here, because I have a some. I'm a little mother henish sometimes, and I want the group to be the group. And then when people start branching off, I do. I get very weirdly hurt by it. it's my own. It's my problem, but I get it. I get the thing where you're like you're just. They weren't but doing wait, it, but, but you have to understand they probably weren't doing anything. To fuck you over. Well, maybe they were. I shouldn't speak at a turn. By the way, they, maybe they, when Chris they is upset went, about they, his raw dick from your jerking they went off theories. This separately, it's not like they even told the other person, and they're not mad at each other. I went downstairs to smoke a cigarette, <laughs> and then I saw a truck that I brought up on the air, fucking two hours beforehand. I was like, "Hey, it's five bucks. I'll get one. I liked that food." There wasn't a fucking grand scheme to fucking go against people. So why were you laughing and pointing? Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, it still is funny that he's so this. sad. Here's what you want. You want the pulled pork bun me so when you order. Okay. Don't call it the Vietnam fucking <laughs> steak <laughs> sandwich because that's stupid. <laughs> pulled pork bun me. And call the guy Ho Chi Minh. And give me a, a black cherry bo- boiling with that. Oh, Wait, it's a, a black cherry what? Boiling. They have they have boilings, right? Okay. Soda. What would you get, Chris, if you were pure cane sugar? If you were part of this, I'd get two botany sandwiches, and I get I get a black cherry because that's the best tasting boilings. Wait, I'm sorry. What word are you guys saying? Boilings? It's Boylan's brand soda. B O Y L A N S. They have them there. You're not a New Yorker. That's why you go to. You don't know what a boiling is, and you go to the memorial. No, I know what that is, but you go to the 9/11 memorial. Oh my goodness gracious! Everybody's wrong here. Mouth of babes. John, uh, in the, uh, New Hyde Park. Hey, uh, Fezzi, were you, you go downstairs with D12 and 3 while uh, Chris Stanley and Shelby do your work? Or what? Is that, I wish I worked where you worked. You wouldn't get a sandwich either. <laughs> to come back what? of sorts. Everyone's um, fired. Now everyone's but, getting fired. But do you ever feel like Chris has ever recovered for you in your life? Yes, I feel that, yes. So why, why wouldn't that go into your thing with the sandwich stuff? That was always a nice thing about getting him a sandwich. That was my reward. <laughs> my $7 sandwich every day. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. It was treating yes. each other nicely. During all the time that he took off and got full pay, and you were working in here, that's worth $7 a day to you. <laughs> How about if it's it's $5, that thing? Cost $5? It was $5 American. Why not just throw down a 20 and bring a few up, and then everyone could have one. Or did you really want to see other people want it while you ate it in their face? Did I, I get that too? I just <laughs> wanted a fucking piece of fried bread. I was smoking a cigarette. It was right in front of my face. You should have ate downstairs. Nobody would know a thing. I know. I fucked you up. You fucked up by coming up <laughs> and going into that fucking office as, in front of grandma. As soon as I, I saw him, I had a fucking grandma. bad thing in my hand. I was like, oh, this is, <laughs> is going to be great. Was it delicious? Oh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really good. All right. Here's an interesting thing that Leslie writes to defend Shelby and Chris. Of course, why not? You didn't get to the point, though. Lunch is the opportunity to take a break during work. A break from the boss. They were completely right to take a few minutes to have lunch by themselves. And Fez is being intrusive. The last time Fez talked about buying lunch for people was the gay homeless kid. That is true. Every time that you buy something, Fez, you want from them. All right. She does have an excellent point. I will not intrude on their eating time ever again. Mm. Couldn't hurt to get a bomb me today, though. <laughs> no, no, no. You need your time. <laughs> you need your Chris time. I understand it now. Does it hurt you that you're not one of the guys? Yeah, I think it but Because I always think, you know, Chris always has some sort of anti-gay thing to say anyway. What? So, <laughs> what did yeah. he ever say anything anti-gay? He's always, you know, uh, puking in here, acting like he's puking, talking about how horrible gay people are, that they Wait. attack kids. That goes on constantly. So, yeah, I feel... Your feelings are hurt. Yeah, so I feel a little outside to begin with. But see, here's the thing. My feelings would be hurt... If they consider me one of the guys, mm. that's the difference between me and you. <laughs> if they started acting like, hey, it's just us grab ass fellas, I'd come down like a fucking lunatic. I don't really think the one of the guys thing is is for real. Like, you know, I'm 
I feel like I would be a part of this network, and I don't. They don't even like each other. <laughs> That's the point. Yeah. Oh, not at all. <laughs> Chris didn't want Shelby here. He wanted Joe. And if I'm such a crazy homophobe, then why were you gave me fucking lunch in the first place for however long it's been He was going trying on? to buy your opinion. Yeah, sure. oh, was sure they're, not all, they're all bad. <laughs> we're yeah, all bad. You'd be sitting there. <laughs> Friendship, something. Eat, you'd be sitting there eating a ham and cheese sandwich going, gays are pretty great. <laughs> Huh? Do you do you feel like there's a friendship that you're not getting? Yeah, I think I think things would run better around here if we were friends, but that's just not going to happen. What makes for a friend? I think looking out for someone at lunchtime. No, but but seriously, what, what makes what what is the defining aspect of friendship for you? Um, I don't. It's just I don't feel there's a trust factor that has to be there, and I don't have that with them. <laughs> and I don't think they have it with me. Your feelings are really hurt. I hear yeah. your voice cracking. Yeah. They are. Yeah. My voice was cracking when I first told you about this. It really got to me. And the fact that they don't even tell, say anything now hurts. Yeah. That, that they won't. Yeah, that it's just me. Does this remind you that you fell alone for a long time? Mm-hmm. Yep. Still alone. Because of people like this. Yeah. It feels like yeah. you don't fit in anywhere, right? No. Not one place. Why don't you just tell them right now what that feels like? Well, yeah, I guess I would have to because no, I don't, don't, don't they be, haven't. Don't be sarcastic. Don't be mean. Just say what it's like to be you and be looking for friendship and not be able to say it. Yeah, because I've looked for friendship around this place and been called the lurker. Right. Been called the weirdo. Been told to stay away from things where other people haven't. And when those guys just go ahead and jump on that bandwagon, it hurts even a little bit more. Let's see. See, Chris, is that you understand where he's coming from now? <laughs> Not at all. This all is right. all made You're up just in his laughing. head. Yeah, just laughing. laughing at him. This is That's crazy awful. talk. And they everyone makes you feel like an outsider? Oh yeah. Yep. What happens when you go to the bosses about it? Do they kind of side with you? Could you go to them? No. No. What about Don? Is no. No. I've tried to explain it before to Don, and I just get looked at like I'm crazy. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, a lot of times you're in here and Fest starts crying, Jay. That's all I'm saying. It's my fault? It's I'm not problem. saying it's your fault. I'm just a is it just a coincidence? I'm going to eat pork sandwiches with Fez. I am a friend. <laughs> well, Thank you, it, Jay. Want to split that sandwich with me, buddy? Don't, Jay. I've invited Fez to several shows. He's never come once. I feel let out down by, by Fez. I definitely want to go to <laughs> your show. Yes. I felt bad, but you saw that even when the tell invited me. I'm like, yeah, I want to go. <laughs> yes. My heart's there, actually. Yeah, it is. My heart's got two tickets front it's row. With <laughs> You'll see it. <laughs> But then doesn't the show just keep going on and on and people are talking? <laughs> people keep talking. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm in shows. Um, here's uh, Tony. Tony, you're on my Fez. Hey, uh, Fezzy, is the definition of friendship like when you go visit your friend in the hospital because you've been sick and you have a Sports Illustrated for him? Or is that, is that the definition of friendship? I will tell you this, there's less Sports Illustrated out there than you ever would think. The only magazines I see are ladies' magazines. Yeah. So that makes you happy that people are sitting around talking about Jennifer <laughs> Aniston? How, how your ass can look like Jennifer like Aniston? <laughs> and those other magazines, they're just so thin now. Um, Chris, would you like to apologize to Fez because he started crying? No, not at all. Shelby? Good. I'm good, he just says. <laughs> From his phone room. See, you've made them pissed at you because you won't give them lunch today. No, they need their alone time. That's what I was pointed out to me. This has become a war of attrition. <laughs> you know what? What's so civil about a, a war anyway? I think Guns N' Roses put it best. It's a war of nutrition. Uh, and I'm winning it. We should make them leave their wallets here so they can't get these sandwiches when they leave. Fuck don't you, guys. Don't worry, they don't use their own money for food. <laughs> <Even> if, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Kyle. You can't have a sandwich. Kyle. Yo. 
Ron, you are one of my favorite human beings on the planet, but you are a dark and evil motherfucker. Hi. Why, 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 <laughs> hi what happened? What happened? What I'm happened? Just, I'm just coming for five minutes to go. <laughs> what? When I just started asking him what hurt, what did you? I didn't pick up on that. Jesus I thought it was Christ just simple Christ. questions. <laughs> you know, I was, I'm as shocked as anybody that his oh, feelings are hurt about it. Yeah, it's, it's tough. I up. worry that he doesn't fit. You say you don't fit in. No, I don't. I don't fit in anywhere. Not even on this show with this team. <clears throat> well, the other shows don't talk about you, do they? Oh, yeah. Uh, Kevin Meany was talking about me a couple weeks on the Jay Thomas show. Mm. Well, he got arrested. So that teaches him. Kevin Meany? Yeah. Did he really? He ran over some lady at a at an airport, and then they thought that they acted like he did it on purpose. But he was just, you know, I guess running for a plane. So he's made all the papers. Yeah, I didn't know that at all. It's yeah. hilarious. Uh, here's Bobby in Vegas. Bobby. Fez, please yeah. tell me this is a bit. Please tell me this is a bit that you're playing on on Shelby and uh, Pepper. Ask Shelby and Chris if it was a bit yesterday while they were watching us enjoy the delicious double cheeseburgers. How many times have they seen your job when Ron needs to talk to somebody and you're even there right in front of Ron staring at Ron and they're actually conversing with Ron? How about you? And I've bought dinner all the time. That doesn't justify anything. You're, you're an on-air, on-air talent. I'm talking to you right now, Bobby. Oh, yes, you are, but you're being uh, passive-aggressive already. All right, here's Austin. Austin, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Ronnie. Fezzy, I'm shocked to hear that Don Wicklin put you on the pay no mind list. I thought that he was taking over the responsibilities, he was going to be your right hand, and you were going to work some things out. You were very excited when Don came over. Yeah, I was thrilled about that. But then, you know, what we were talking about earlier about not fitting in in the building, yeah, I mean, there's things that have gone on where Don's pointed out where I'm the crazy one. Or maybe you need, like, a gay shut-in boss who doesn't really do his job to, uh, to anchor you. I right, see that. No, that turned around. It's inflammatory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm looking up. looks like it's time to order bun me. It is. Come on, You know what face. kind you get, right? You said pulled pork? Pulled pork. With the black cherry boiling. Yeah. Got it. I guess they got those sides over there, huh? Well, let's look it up. I don't trust them. I don't trust <laughs> Vietnamese sides. Add, add one more bon me there. Well, no. Nope. And a dark, black cherry. Well, are on. you still really mad at Chris? Yeah. Especially. By the way, don't get upset, but do what I do. Go to Michelle when you need stuff. That's what I should do. She only yeah. has one L in her name, but she's been terrific to me. Doesn't that throw you off when someone misspells their own name? My <laughs> mom is the only one L, so Michelle. Yeah. Well, when I put a seven where the other L's <laughs> 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 You know, let's Apostrophe. really make it. Yeah, let's turn our names into some kind of aim handle. <laughs> Why did I throw an aim? Out of all the things, you the aim isn't even used dated anymore. Dated yourself a <laughs> lot. Long ago. What? Seven years ago? More than that. I think it's got to be ten. Oh, is it really ten? Yeah. Aim was big there for a little. Did you while. have an aim screen name? Yeah, Ron. So um, <laughs> you're the first one on. <laughs> yeah, I always try to use Ron as my name. Ron Why? What should I use? One. Pookie Kid? I don't know what to put on that. I would say like Ron, like Juan. All right, what Get kind it, of like what? Don Juan? Okay, all right, sweet. Now I'm looking up on the place. They have uh, grilled corn on the cob with chili mayo. Ooh. Oh, that sounds good. Coconut pla- flakes and chili powder. What? That seems that seems like it's worth a try. Well, there's a side. Corn right, on the cob. Right, that corn on the cob. Sure. Give me one too, Molly. Cob. Molly, write one down for me. Okay. You're not getting anything. Leave Look Molly alone. No confuser. Look how happy he was to go. Corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. <laughs> Let's just leave out Shelby, but just just for me. Would Shelby be okay with that? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> He's way over there. Were she you guys helps. really bummed out about those burgers? Were they awesome looking? Yeah, they, they, I, lo- I love Five Guys. They were so melty. Oh, it was it, Five Guys. Yeah, it was so funny because Chris yeah. was hurt, but Shelby was fucking furious. <laughs> he just had fire eyes, so he tried to put it all on Molly. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just turn the anger. Yeah, remember when you were like younger and you were just like, oh, all the guys are fucking, fucking with me? Good, I'll pick out the smallest one. <laughs> Start to swing at that prick. Your mom would piss you off and you go do top rope elbows <laughs> on your stuffed animals? Screw you, Mom. <laughs> All right, I got a break here. We'll be right back. Run fest. Uh, Barry Crimmins said that he wanted to come in and do this show so he could be nice to you. Everyone always thinks they, that before they meet Fest. 
I'm always nice to Fez. You're great to Fez. Love him. Although when he was started crying today, you looked down. You wouldn't look directly at him. I, I had a nervous energy that was going to. I knew if I looked over at Hicks laughing yeah. hysterically that I was going to lose it. Right. And I wanted to let uh, let the moment happen. Yeah, you wanted to let him do his cry thing. Did it feel good to have a good cry there, Fez? Well, I, yeah, it felt good because I wasn't expecting it. Right. I wasn't either. And it was leading, 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 but I didn't think it would ever happen. But now I guess I got it out of my system, and the five of us, me, you, and Molly, and Jay, and Christine, can have a nice lunch together. Oh, nothing dries tears like a nice baguette full oh. of pork. Oh. Molly, you came back, and you, did, did you get the text from Fez? He changed his mind. He wanted you to get stuff for Chris and Shelby? No, I, didn't, I never got the text. That's because it never happened. Oh. The text was never sent. <laughs> the word was never Come given. On. Come on! All right, we got to go. It's past 3 o'clock. We're past our time.